J. Welcome to our mathematics class. I am Ma'am Fatima Altambago from the Division of City Schools Manila, Philippines. Today, we're going to discuss about rectangular coordinate system. Given a number line, it is a basic form of mathematical graph that represents the real number system. Plot the given points on the number line, given A is equal to 0, B, 3, and C, negative 1. So for A, we have to plot the point exactly on the number line. So for A, we have 0. For B, we have 3. And then for C, we have negative 1. So those numbers below the number line are called the coordinate of a given point. So those integers below called the coordinate that corresponds to a given point. So it can be any real number. It can be negative numbers, positive numbers, even fractions or decimals. Given the illustration at the right, this is what we call the rectangular coordinate system or Cartesian coordinate system. Sometimes it is also called a Cartesian plane. So the one who developed or invented this Cartesian plane is a French mathematician named René Descartes. So given the yellow line, it is the horizontal number line. That is what we call the x-axis. And for the green line, the vertical number line, that is what we call the y-axis. Together, they are called coordinate axis. Now, the point of intersection of the coordinate axis, given the point in the middle, or in the coordinate is equal to zero, that is what we call the origin. Usually, it is named as point O. And the rectangular coordinate system is divided into four regions. Those are what we call quadrants. So we have, as you can see, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Now we have here what we call ordered pair. It is denoted by x and then y and enclosed by a parenthesis and separated by commas. Like for example, 2 and negative 1. 2 x coordinate or abscissa and negative 1 is the y coordinate or what we call ordinate. So x and y cannot be interchanged. Now for quadrant 1, the sign of x is positive and for y, we have also positive. And for quadrant 2, the sign of x is negative and the sign of y is positive. For quadrant 3, the sign of x is negative and the sign of y is also negative. For quadrant 4, the sign of x is positive and the sign of y is negative. Now, using example conclusion map or ECM, let us plot the following coordinates. So, for our first example, we have point I and the ordered pair is 1 and 3. We're going to locate 1 as the value of x axis and 3 in its above for the value of y axis. That's why our point is located in this portion. Now, let us name this as point I. For our second example, we have 0, 3. So, since our middle number is 0, our x coordinate is equal to 0, and the y coordinate is equal to 3. Therefore, we're going to plot our point F exactly on the y axis. And then for the second point, we have negative 1 for the x-axis and 2, it means 2 units above because we have a positive number which is 2. Therefore, the point will be located in this place. And let us name this as point A. Next, for our point T, we have 2 units to the left and 4 units below. Because we have negative 2 and negative 4 as the ordered pair. Last example, number 3. So we have for point L, we have 3 and 4. That means 3 units to the right and 4 units above. And for point O, 
we have negative 3 and 4. That means um, 3 units to the left of 0 and 4 units above. And for point B, we have negative 3 and negative 4. And then for point E, we have 3 and negative 4. So for our conclusion, each point in the plane can be located using an ordered pair of numbers denoted by x and y, where x is the horizontal distance and y is the vertical distance of the point from the origin. This means that you can easily tell which quadrant an ordered pair is located by just simply looking at the signs of the coordinates. Identifying the quadrant based on their signs, for example, number one, point I is located in quadrant one. Since our x and y coordinates are both positive. And for example, number two, point F is located exactly on the y-axis because it lies on the line of the y-axis. For point A, we have negative 1 and 2 and that is located in quadrant 2. And for point T, we have negative 2 and negative 4 that is located in quadrant 3. Now for our third example, point L, 3, 4 is located in quadrant 1. Point O, 3, point O, negative 3 and 4 located in quadrant 2. Point V, we have negative 3 and negative 4. We have quadrant 3. And point E, we have 3 and negative 4 located in quadrant 4. Again, all you have to do is to look at the signs of the coordinates to determine on which quadrant the following ordered pair belongs to. Now, it is your turn.